Well, after coming out of an experience which has lasted two and a half years and one of considerable tension, never knowing whether one is going to live to the end of the day or not, there is a period of confusion. Um, and the thing, the way one copes with that is one does put oneself in the hands of the authorities. You go through uh, a medical debriefing, you have a, another form of debriefing, and then uh, quickly you're onto a, a plane and hopefully reunited with your family. But uh, looking back on my experience of that, you know, I have very vague memories because it was so confused and everything was happening so quickly. This is a, a happy time at Christmas uh, for the Moore family and for Peter Moore himself particularly, but it is a sad time also for the other families. And he's bound to feel that. He's bound to feel, well, you know, I'm out, but it looks as though all of the others are dead. Three are confirmed dead, of course, and one uh, yet to be confirmed, but believed to be dead. And that is sad. And it, it leads me on really to another point, that whilst it is difficult for a hostage, and when a hostage is released, attention is focused on the hostage, it is equally as difficult, if not in some cases more difficult, for the families who have a roller coaster of a ride, who suffer all sorts of agonies of not knowing, and then just have to cope. The great thing in situations like this is to keep hope alive.